We're now in week six of the 2012 NFL season. The one and three Raiders come into Minnesota to take on the three and one Vikings. The Vikings looking to extend their win streak before they head off into divisional games the next two weeks. The Raiders get off to a good start in the first quarter as Jason Campbell finds Darren McFadden on a screen pass who takes it 19 yards into Minnesota territory. And then Campbell play action finds Lewis Murphy for 16 yards and another Oakland first down. Third and three, Darren McFadden fights for seven yards and another first down. He would have a good day on the ground. Third and eight, Raiders looking for some points. Campbell looking end zone finds Darius Hayward Bay in the back who stays in bounds for a nice touchdown. Oakland up seven zip early. Later in the first, Campbell's going to find Darius Hayward Bay for a first down. And then he's going to look for Chaz Sheelans who gets another first down. Campbell looked brilliant in the first quarter. Campbell looking left, hits Bush on the screen pass, who's going to get inside the Minnesota 10-yard line, setting up a touchdown to Jacoby Ford. Oakland now up 14-zip early, Vikings off to a really slow start, Cunningham struggled throughout the day, misses a wide-open Percy Harvin, and then looking for Sidney Rice, picked off by Jeremy Ware, Oakland sure not playing like a 1-3 and team thus far, Minnesota really struggling, Campbell on 3rd and 6, he's going to look for Darren McFadden, who's going to pick up 13 yards and a first down in the Minnesota territory, McFadden takes a first down carry 9 yards up the middle, to get the Raiders even closer to another score on third and six, he's going to try to pound it in the end zone, but he stopped short and the Raiders were forced to kick a field goal. Minnesota's still struggling on offense. Sidney Rice can't do anything. Oakland's D's holding strong. Cunningham's going to give the Raiders a chance to score more points. Campbell looking for something quick, looks over the middle and finds Chaz Sheelans, but the clock's running down and Oakland can't get the timeout off in time. But Oakland will come out of the half strong. Sheelans makes a 19-yard grab, and the Raiders having their way with the Minnesota pass defense. McFadden takes a carry, follows his blockers to the left, picks up 13 yards. And then Campbell will look for Lewis Murphy deep, but he would overthrow him, and it would lead to a Janikowski 55-yard field goal. But earlier in the game, Minnesota's sack leader, Ray Edwards, was injured and broke his jaw, and he will be out for three or four games. Minnesota looking for any sort of momentum, so Cunningham goes to none other than Adrian Peterson who gets 19 yards into Oakland territory, and then Cunningham hits Sidney Rice for 25 yards, and Minnesota knocking on their door for the first points of the game. Cunningham on play action, looking for Berrien, but throws it right into the waiting arms of Rolando McLean, and Oakland takes the ball. But on the next play, Darren McFadden will put the ball on the ground, and Antoine Winfield would recover. On 2nd and 16, Cunningham hits Rice on a screen, but he's decked by Rolando McLean, and Minnesota be forced to kick a field goal. Later in the third, Adrian Peterson goes up the middle into Oakland territory for a first down. And on second down, Cunningham is going to go to Harvin, who gets 15 yards down to the Oakland 30. And Cunningham wants to go right back to him. He's going to go to Percy Harvin, left, who's going to shake off Chris Johnson. And he's going to score a touchdown for the Vikings. And as you'll see here, Harvin actually injured Chris Johnson on that play. Now with only a 10-point lead, McFadden takes a carry up the middle for 15 yards. Minnesota's run defense really struggling as Michael Bush takes one up the right side for another 18 yards. And Oakland should have just kept it on the ground because Campbell's going to look left and find Chad Greenway, who's going to take it all the way for a score. And as you'll see on this play, Al Davis doesn't like just fast skill position players. He wants the fastest offensive lineman, but they still can't catch Greenway. Now, 10 minutes left in the fourth, McFadden is stuffed on the play by Williams, so Minnesota have the opportunity to take the lead. Berrien makes a nice catch and breaks a tackle for a first down. Big play there, and then Berrien is going to get the ball again, and he's going to get another first down. He's probably Cunningham's favorite target. And on third and six, trying to squeeze it into Berrien, but Oshamois showing why he's one of the top corners in the league, bringing up a Ryan Longwell field goal attempt, but he hooks it left on a 31-yard chip shot, looking as if Oakland has caught a huge break. Campbell on second and one, looking for Lewis Murphy, but Azure Allen comes through in the clutch, gets the interception, and Minnesota's defense has once again brought the team back single-handedly. 
Later in the fourth, Lorenzo Booker taking a third down carry, but can't pick up the first. So Oakland now with two minutes trying to score, but Campbell not looking the same. He overthrows the ball out of bounds. Next play is going to go long, and it's going to get batted away by Cedric Griffin. And on third down now, looking deep to the right side, and he's going to find no one except for the Minnesota Vikings bench. So Minnesota now with the opportunity to ice the game, and instead of running the ball, they're going to pass it. Cunningham finds Jim Klein Saucer, an unlikely hero, but Minnesota holds on to win the game because of him, 24 to 20. Minnesota moves to 4 and 1 on the year, right before big games against the Chicago Bears and the Green Bay Packers, so this win was very pivotal to their NFC North race. It'll be interesting to see how the Vikings do without Ray Edwards, but it's time for Jared Allen to step it up. Next week, the Vikings take on the Bears. You definitely don't want to miss this game. Both teams on good winning streaks here early in the season, and the winner will be in first place of the division. This is a big game for the Vikings, and rookie quarterback Al Cunningham will be tested.